Welcome back to the channel, Ramblers. My name is Amra from the Ramblin' Richardsons. It's good to see you. So we're gonna do part two of the terrarium build series. I had a set of terrariums I got from Target forever ago and haven't done anything with. So if you watched the video where my mom and I go shopping for plants in one of these corners, um, I got some plants specifically to put in these terrariums. Wanted to get this done. Um, sooner than later because we had the baby on the way who was doing good by the way but in this video we're gonna go through the second part of the build that I did a couple of days ago just never filmed the intro or outro for it all right let's take a look so what I'm gonna do here is go ahead and use some weed filter and I'm just gonna measure a circle to cut out to be a barrier between my false bottom and my substrate. We're going to insert it into the trunk. Okay, so I measured this out to be roughly big, a little bit bigger than the base here of our terrarium. So we're going to put the clay aggregate leak of balls in here first, then we're going to put this over it, and then a layer of substrate. Then we're going to work on putting the plants into here. All right, first we're going to do the clay aggregate. There we go. So now that we've got our clay aggregate in here, we're going to put down our drain uh, top of our drainage layer. This is fabric that you can get at any big box store, Home Depot, Lowe's, that kind of thing, but it is uh, gardening fabric that you can put down to keep weeds from coming up into your garden. We're going to use it as a semi-permeable layer between the substrate and the drainage layer. It's easy to fold it like this, kind of like a coffee filter into a cone shape so that it fits into the smaller hole here. And then once we do that, we just let it go and it has unfolded itself pretty well I might add. That's honestly probably the easiest I've ever had this work for me. <laughs> it's gone in there really really well. Now we're going to add some potting uh, soil that I mixed up myself. There's a little bit of sand and gravel, a little bit of sphagnum moss and coconut core. And it's been pre-moistened, pre-wet. So we're gonna put it in here on top of this and then we're gonna pull out our plants. Here's the potting soil that I made. Still very moist, it's been sitting for like a week. So I got some of this Irish moss we're gonna plant in here. It died off a little bit, but that's okay. Next is this frost pepperomium. I'm gonna go clean off the roots and then we'll plant this in here. And there we have it guys. We have our finished terrarium. pretty much it for the terrarium build. There's been a couple of other things going on in the reptile room. I don't know if y'all have caught them on camera. You can see a couple of them now, but I'm going to do a whole different video to update you on what else has been going on in here while we've been getting ready for the baby. But that's all we have 
for this video. I'll certainly take a check in on the terrariums in a couple of weeks, see how they're doing. Well, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Go down there, like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell, and we will see you on the next video. Peace.